Alright, what's going on guys? It's Almond. Welcome back to another Cold War video. So, at the time of recording this, uh, I feel like a bunch of my other videos are going to be probably like in weird positions because I'm recording this after I recorded those, but I'm probably going to post this ahead of time. So, the you know the level cap was raised it was 31 uh, initially when i was first playing and i already recorded a video saying that was a level cap but then they raised it to 40 and i just hit 40 right now uh recently so i'm gonna post you know a bunch of whole content like i said but in today's video we're just gonna be going over the rewards of hitting rank 40 and the stuff that you get from playing the beta uh stuff like that but if you do enjoy this type of content be sure to leave a like on this video be sure to be sure to subscribe we just recently hit 700 subs so hopefully we can reach 800 um Maybe by the next month or maybe the month after that. So hopefully we reach it. So also turn on your notifications so you guys aren't missing out on any Cold War videos because I have like 20 videos scheduled. So yeah, let's get into it. So when it comes to reach, getting level 40, a lot of people are saying, oh, is this going to be the max level? Nah, it's it's definitely not going to be the max level. Even I already know it's, it's a weird number to cap us out on 40. I don't think even ever we've got capped out 40 55 has usually been the normal and i know we've have like everything unlocked like if we go i actually maxed out the bellington oh wait what they gave us maxed out stuff on everything okay i'm gonna say <laughs> that's actually annoying but okay i'll save that for another video but um yeah so everything's basically unlocked if we go uh dude this is so annoying i maxed out i maxed out some of these guns i maxed out the snipers i literally spent the whole entire beta maxing out the snipers and now the last day of the beta they just max out everything but uh essentially once you get to like rank 40 you basically have everything unlocked uh, i mean this is like a bad example since they already maxed out everything like literally but you basically unlock all the stuff that they give us um and all the perks and everything like that so from when it comes to perks i definitely think these are going to be the assigned perks i feel like they should move ninja to perk 2 i don't know that's just me though I don't know, I feel like Ninja should be in perk 2, I don't know why. But definitely when it comes to this, you unlock all the stuff and stuff. And then if we go to my barracks, uh, you can see my player identity, which is, you know, Colonial, which is rank 40. And then it says progression, you can't really see, like, but it does say, yeah, it does say, now we can see this. Before you couldn't see this, but as you guys can see, we're going up to rank 55. So that confirms that 55 is going to be the max. And a lot of people have been saying, like, you know, which is crazy so yeah it does tell you the rewards so you guys can see all the rewards that you guys unlock this is going to be the basic setup so obviously recruit you unlock all this type of stuff basically like all the regular stuff and then you'll slowly unlock the uh uh you know the different uh what's called setups and obviously you know this is going to be spread out way more than it is now because you know this is set up for the beta you know you guys can see all the ranks as well this is just set up for the beta like you guys aren't going to be guaranteed to unlock some of this stuff at like rank 22 like they're obviously going to spread this out more um more versatile and everything like that so more people can try to like uh there's no so there's a more reason to reach like rank 155 or 55 i mean instead of rank 155 i don't think we're gonna have rank 155 i generally don't think that but obviously this is spread out for the beta because we're capped out on 40 we can't go higher than that but you can definitely see it goes higher than 40 it goes it goes i just saw it goes you guys saw it well, now it's not letting me go up which is stupid but you guys saw it. uh 55 is definitely in the max uh yeah this is it's it's this beta is glitchy so like right now like if i go if i try to scroll past it i can't which is stupid but definitely you guys saw that ring uh 55 is definitely going to be max we're gonna have a prestiging system like that's a definite i feel like it's definitely gonna happen just because of that fact i mean unless they have more levels beyond that but i really think we're gonna go back to the old prestiging system and if that's true that's, I'm gonna be glad, but at the same time, it's gonna be weird since we're gonna have some cross progression type stuff. Um, especially like how zombies and Warzone and multiplayer were all gonna have the same level. I really wanted zombies and multiplayer to have their own separate levels, but keep the weapons, um, you know, leveling up between the same thing, like how co op did it. Co op, you can level up between it, but obviously, co op didn't have its own leveling system, which kind of um was good uh, because the thing is for co-op it was different because you know there was no zombies aspect there's nothing with if there's zombies i really want to see like zombie type you know emblems or not emblems like uh you know level emblems type of stuff uh my sergeant rank all that i want to see like zombie-esque emblems you know but that's definitely not going to happen at this point uh because they already announced cross progression is going to be a thing and I definitely think prestiging has to come back because it wouldn't make sense if there is no prestiging in this game. It's it's a Black Ops franchise. We've always had prestiging. It's it it just wouldn't seem right. 
Uh, and then we also, I feel like we're also gonna get new characters. I think this is just a default, you know, setup for everybody. You guys can, I'll quickly go through all of them just so everybody can see. I'm obviously gonna do more videos talking about perks, field upgrades. Keep those in separate videos. Um, Jeff, today is, I'm not gonna really play the beta, even though they max out everything. Um, there's no real reason for me to make more videos. I've already have 20 videos lined up. I got a good gist of playing Cold War. I'm just quickly just, you know, recording as much content before the actual game comes out. So I'm just going to have a bunch of videos lined up till the release of the game. Uh, hopefully. Because the game shouldn't be released until like November. So that's why I'm just definitely just trying to get as much content as I possibly can. And just show everyone all the stuff. Same thing as streaks. I want to talk about streaks that I want to like see in the game. Everything like that. But... Uh, th there's definitely gonna be more weapons as well, so I don't think these are gonna be the only two sniper rifles Like let me let me change my class setup so I can actually see everything. Okay, so when it comes to secondaries Definitely think there's gonna be another launcher. I just hate that we're gonna have an RPG I really didn't want an RPG in this game like honestly RPGs are they're cool and all I understand why people like them but at the same time Shooting down streaks with an RPG is not gonna be fun. It's it's gonna be annoying if it's not a straight shot. If it's not a straight shot, then it's gonna be if it's gonna be curvy and stuff like that, it's gonna be annoying. Shoot down UAVs or stuff like that. It's not gonna be fun. Melees, I enjoy that we have the knife back. It's really good for what's called running. And there's see as you can see, there's a prestige. So I didn't think they knew about this. I'll probably make another video about this. So that's a cool thing. And you could equip your clan tag on it. So yeah, I don't think that's that's a mistake on there, and I don't think I should be able to do that. So yeah, you guys can definitely see that there. I, same thing when it comes to LMGs and stuff like that. We're gonna definitely have more. They're just leaving us um, with certain guns. They wanted to try out the main guns, like same thing for assault, uh, stuff like this. Yeah, we're definitely having more. This I don't think this is gonna be the final roster at all for guns. Same thing for rocket launchers and pistols. I definitely think we're gonna have another pistol. This Magnum apparently is like really OP from what I heard. So I don't know if I'm gonna do a video on this, but when if I do get a chance, I might. But uh, if not, I'll probably say that when the initial game comes out. But yeah, that Magnum's apparently people have been one shotting people. It's insane. Same thing with the freaking SA-12 and the Howard 77. Dude, these gu shotguns need to be nerfed. And apparently they have fire shells. Let me quickly look through this. I don't know if that's true. Some people have been telling me you can get fire shells. I don't know if that's true or not. But maybe like later down the line, we'll definitely get fire shells. If that's true. But I don't want fire shells in this game. Like We've had enough from it. From World War II to Black Ops 4 to Modern Warfare. I think fire shells need to go away. I don't want those, those things to come back. And knowing them, it's most likely gonna come back uh launches you guys can't do anything equipment wise yeah it takes us to a whole different screen for attachments which is yeah you sh yeah there, there's, there's definitely things that i shouldn't be seeing right now but but that's cool though and the wild cards you guys can log all the wild cards like there might be another wild card but i think these are going to be the same i don't think they'll add another one honestly because danger close is already good um a lawbreaker is good gunfighter is good yeah i don't think they'll add another one and say perks, they might switch some, some of the perks around. Like, I'm not going to use Paranoia. I'm not going to use Engineer. Uh, Assassin might be... Eh. Quartermaster seems like the most stupidest <laughs> perk, in my opinion. There's no point. If you have stims, they automatically recharge. They need to learn that. But, yeah, these perks are really good. Like, everything's good in this in the beta when it comes to just leveling up. You know, you guys got to unlock everything. I hit the max level. And we do get different rewards. Like, if you get, I think, rank 10 and above, you get four tier skips when battle com uh, battle pass comes around for this game and that's actually good rewards and and obviously you do have to have like your thing linked to the game so you guys can get the rewards and then obviously when the game drops we're gonna have double xps going on like if you have like buy the reels bags if you buy mountain dew six packs uh stuff like that you do get double xp if they're you know obviously if the uh, cans or whatever have uh the code within them but obviously if you just get a regular mountain dew that doesn't have anything on it you're not gonna get the code unless it specifies in the thing so Definitely. Uh, we do know that, I think from my standpoint, I think there's going to be a prestiging system. And I'm glad, because then I feel like a lot of YouTubers um, are going to do that whole race to prestige type of deal. Where they're going to have like a one person, uh, or one, I mean one account, and there's going to be like seven people on that account trying to race to prestige. Stuff like that. So I, I really enjoy that we're going to have something like that back. And I can't look at my combat record, because you know in the beta your stats don't count, and then leaderboards don't count either. But it's crazy how I can... Oh, I can go back. Okay, so I can go back. Okay. Yeah, as you guys can see commander. We got general. Yeah, so caps out 55 Like I'm pressing RB a bunch of times. There's nothing further than 55. So you guys can see how all the stuff is And everything like that. So uh, That's pretty cool. I'll uh, probably put that in the thumbnail or something like that But I, I enjoy that we're gonna see up to 
you know 55 again and we can see before we weren't able to see the progression for some reason but i'm glad that's back but obviously the level system and everything like that it's gonna be really slow at the beginning i feel like i'm not gonna be i mean i'll try to hit rank uh 55 uh and try hit prestiging as much as i can but i'm not gonna be playing as heavy i'm playing heavy like november december but when it comes to january i think i'm gonna slow stuff down a bit because i don't want to overwork myself to the point where um i just get no sleep because that's what happened with the whole season drop for modern warfare i literally got the emblem fucking hella quick more than anybody else and i hit rank 155 quicker than anybody literally I stayed up for like two, three days consistently. Like that, that messed up my sleep schedule a lot. So I don't know if, how I'm gonna do it for this season. I'll definitely be one of the like you know top 1,000 for sure for hitting uh, master master prestige if they add it to this game. But I do definitely need to grind my ass off because uh, I, I want to be able to show something, you know. But that's gonna be it for the video, guys. Uh, that's the rewards you guys get for rank 40 at the moment. But yeah, obviously we're gonna see 55 come in and everything like that. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, like I said, be sure to leave a like on this video. Be sure, be sure to subscribe. Um, more Cold War videos coming out, like with the Fire Team, the Warzone esque mode, all that type of stuff. I'll be talking about perks, everything, and then my final thoughts about the beta. So you guys are gonna see those within the coming days. Obviously, even if the beta is over, I still have a ton of videos scheduled. I'm just trying to record as much content as I possibly can. And yeah, so do leave a like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment if you guys want to, and let me know what you guys think, uh, your ideas, everything like that. And uh, turn on those notifications so you guys aren't missing out for new Cold War videos, new Modern Warfare videos, uh, especially with the zombies mode, I think it's coming around the corner uh, for Warzone, I don't know. Stuff like that. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.